You're listening to Search the Scriptures Daily, a program in which we encourage everyone who desires to know God's truth to look to God's Word for all that is essential for salvation and living one's life in a way that is pleasing to Him. This is the feature article segment of our program, and our topic is and has been Dave Hunt's book, When Will Jesus Come? Subtitles, Compelling Evidence for the Soon Return of Christ. The day before I get into what we're going to discuss in this segment, I have to let our listeners in particular in on something. They may not know that we not only are recording this for radio and for the Internet and also for shortwave radio throughout the world, so our listeners are missing out on something, Dave. Uh, you know, our producer, Gary Carmichael, told us at the beginning that we both had perfect faces for radio, right? Right, absolutely, yeah. yeah right. I'm quite <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> but now we're on video as well for podcasting. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now some people get to see what we actually do look like. And uh, we got a problem, right? The problem is... Now we have to come in presentable with regard to the clothes that we're wearing and so on. And for those in radio, I just want to describe what you're wearing. Um, Dave, uh, you're either, uh, it looks like you're either representing uh, a prison ministry because you're wearing black and white stripes on your, your shirt, mm -hmm. and, uh, or you're a former NBA referee. You know, I can't figure out which one, but... Uh, well, this is a referee shirt, but I was told that we needed a referee in here in case we get into a quarrel, but then it really wouldn't be fair if I'm the referee. So, But I didn't realize that. So, But here I am, and I couldn't go home. Yes. Time is of the essence, so we'll, we'll, we'll carry on. Yeah, but if you do want to make some referee's calls during this, you know, feel free to. But don't use your whistle. No, I, keep, I, keep I that will in your not pocket. use my whistle. Okay. Right. Well, if you have a copy of Dave's book, When Will Jesus Come?, and you want to follow along with our discussion, we're about to begin Chapter 18, titled Timing Factors. But Dave, before we get to that, you know, as, as you do know, one common complaint against the rapture is that it's a doctrine so-called invented in the 1800s, but you point out that it was Jesus who was the chief promoter of the doctrine, and, but in what way? Well, Jesus did say he, he was going away to his father's house that must be in heaven, mm -hmm. where he came from, going back where he came from, and uh, he was going to prepare a place for his disciples, and that would include us. And he said, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Now, I don't know how he could do that without catching people off of this earth mm -hmm. and taking them to heaven. So... Uh, that's number one. Paul is obviously referring to this when in First Thessalonians he says the Lord himself, so that's Christ coming back, like he said, I will come again. The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel, the trumpet of God. The dead in Christ will rise first. Paul is writing this because some of these Christians the Thessalonians had, had died, and their survivors said, well, I guess they don't get to go to heaven. So he said, comfort yourself with these words. So he was letting them know that even those who had died in Christ, their souls and spirits were with him in heaven. He would bring the souls and spirits with him and resurrect their bodies to reunite them with a new body, and then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. Now, I don't know what better explanation could be given of Christ's promise in John 14. And for these people to say, well, there is nothing about the rapture in the, in the Bible, just I, I don't know what Bible they've been reading. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the examples they give for this not being biblical, they say, you know, it may have been Darby back in the... Uh, what would that be? The early eighteen hundreds, early eighteen hundreds, right? And uh, and then they also uh, claim that it was started by a Jesuit priest, right? <laughs> now that's a surprise to me, because the Catholic Church doesn't believe in the rapture. Well, I guess they did that just to 
deceive us. I, I don't know. Yeah. But they even have a, 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 you know, supposed documentation. But it's not true. Darby supposedly got it from this young girl, teenager, speaking in tongues. And that, no, but that isn't true. And, and Tom, there is plenty of documentation uh, of people in the church believing it. Mm -hmm. All the way back to uh, the 300s, 400s. I did not get this from Darby or some Jesuit or from anyone else. Of course, I was taught it as a boy as I grew up. But it was taught to me out of the Bible, not out of some books that people had written. And I could see for myself in the Bible, there it is. How is Christ going to get his own from earth to heaven? Now, the people who deny the rapture, they're expecting Christ to come and rule over the kingdom they have established. There are a lot of people who think Christians ought to take over this world, will take over politics, take over the schools, mm -hmm. and so forth. And <clears throat> when we have established the kingdom, then Christ will return to rule over the kingdom we've established. Now, that is a great delusion because... Jesus Christ is not going to come to this earth to set up his kingdom until he has taken us, first of all, to heaven. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how he could get us to heaven without a rapture unless you want to die. Uh, but how are you going to take live people up there? So Paul says, Behold, I show you a mystery. This is 1 Corinthians 15. We shall not all sleep. That is, our bodies won't all be asleep in the grave. But we shall all be changed. In a moment, the twinkling of an eye, the trumpet shall sound. The Lord shall be descend. The dead shall be raised, and we will be changed. Okay, now how is Christ going to get us to heaven? I think these people believe in heaven. Mm -hmm. That's where Jesus came from. He said, I have come from my Father, and I return to my Father. My Father's house are many mansions. I'm going back up there, and I will come again and receive you to myself. Now, how could that happen except by a rapture? A rapture is simply uh, catching people up from this earth. These are living people. Uh, and, and the dead will be raised, okay? So I don't know how, how else that could happen. And there is the judgment seat of Christ. There's the marriage uh, in Revelation 19 in heaven. And then Christ returns with his bride. And I think we've probably mentioned it on this program before, but... Um, Zechariah chapter 14 clearly says, when his feet touch the Mount of Olives, he brings all the saints from heaven with him. Okay? So I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what the complaint is mm -hmm. by these people who reject the rapture or what Bible they're reading or how they think we're going to get from earth to heaven. Now, apparently some of them at least, they believe everything is going to be on this earth that Christ is going to establish his kingdom on this earth. Yes, of course he is. He will rule on the throne of his father David over the, over the children of Israel and over the world uh, from Jerusalem. But we're not Jews. We're not in that particular kingdom. Uh, so how? Wh what does heaven have to do with this? And in Revelation uh, 20, we see... Uh, Revel I'm sorry... In Revelation 21, we see the heavenly Jerusalem descending from God out of heaven as a bride adorned for her husband. Now, how does the bride come down from heaven if she hasn't been taken up there? I don't know. Anyway, Tom, I'm belaboring the point. But no, I, don't I think it's know, important information. Dude. I don't know how anyone could deny this unless they think, well, we never go to heaven. Uh, what are you going to do with the people who died? Christians who died, well, they have to be resurrected just to come back to this earth. Uh, they're going to have new bodies. We're going to rule and reign with him a thousand years, the scripture says. So I don't understand what the problem is. Furthermore, Tom, some of these people say, well, if you For more information about the Berean call, call us toll free at our order number or visit our website 